Hello, Fox. I want to share some interesting experience regarding how I made installation permanent installation of the GPS receiver in my FT991A. Um, in the next 30 minutes, I want to show you probably most interesting moments in this project. So, let's see closer on the GPS module. So, cover, I made the from the charger, mobile phone charger. <laughs> it's an old charger, I just cut the top part. And uh, this is a pretty nice shape. Inside of this cover, I installed the green LED to indicate. It's working like an indicator um, GPS on or off. Most interesting, this is a GPS receiver with the antenna. GPS receiver producing the TTL signal or sending the TTL signal. But small problem, input on the FT991 are the RS232 which is not compatible with TTL. This is a two different standards. So I put some inverter, this small PCB. It's a cost maybe a half box from eBay. Not so big deal. Uh, this chip, he receiving the TTL. Then he converting the TTL signal to RS232. And finally, on output, we have the just piece of the cable. Um, shield connected to the negative line. Then uh, another two wires. One of them, it's a RS-232 signal, which is need to send it to radio. And another one, it's a power supply. Uh, five volts to power up the uh, inverter and the GPS receiver with antenna and the uh, LED. Together all of these components, it's a LED GPS receiver and the inverter, uh, taking something about the 44-45 milliamps. Not so too much. Usually nothing. It's That's okay. Okay. Um, I want to install it in a top cover and see how it fit and um, how we can play with position. This is top cover from my radio and uh, all necessary holes already prepared. So let's try to install the GPS receiver and see how it will work. Not so bad, right? Let's try to power up it. Hmm. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, next step, um, we need to install the top cover in the radio and uh, put cable through the radio to the back side or to connectors which is located on the back panel. This is my FT991. So, first of all, let's remove the top cover. Let me see, do we have enough space to put some cable through the radio? I think yes. Here is pretty big hole and let's use it. Okay, now let's put the back middle cover. Good. I would like to leave some quantity just to safety. Voila! Everything is fit perfectly. Good. Good, good, good.
Nice. Now we can put the back, the cover for the antenna tuner. In the next step, I want to install the power switch for GPS receiver and I need to think uh, how to connect data line to RS-232 connector from inside. I have switch like this, not so expensive but working perfect and the best position for switch I think gonna be somewhere here and also inside we have some free pocket free space I would like to install in this position um, for safety reason, I think the best way it's uh, take off on a part this unit and exactly this PCB to drill hole and do all necessary connection. And um, okay, we'll see because I'm doing it in the first time and I don't know. I don't know yet. Let's disassemble and see what's inside. Voila. This is what we need. This part. By the way, this is a nice heat sink. Nice shape, nice fins, everything for cooling. What do you think about this position? Not so bad, right? Okay, let's do something more.
This is a part of the circuit diagram uh, FT991A. What do we got? RS232 or DB9 input. Uh, here is everything is clear. Um, data line going through the uh, relay for some reason, then going to the uh, inverter RS232 to TTL. I don't want to use, usually we have some benefit, we can connect directly to the TTL line without any converting and blah blah blah, but um, I would like to keep some additional IC, just to safety reason if something happened, to prevent any damages of the microprocessor. So we have a couple, something like a gates, gate number one located uh, on a PCB inside of the radio, gate number two located near uh, of the uh, GPS receiver. It's an additional chip you saw uh, in a, my previous video, previous episode. But we need five volts. This chip has the supply with 3.3 volts, which is not good for us. So. I found another one spot. Mm, let's see. It's uh, here. Uh, this operation amplifier has the supply line with plus 5 volts. And I think we can connect GPS power line exactly to this spot. Let's see. Is this correct or not? Because it's just diagram. So line where is the going on the top here running 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 here is the very important moment dun, 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 dun. that's the plus five volts so I think we on the right way Let's go back. Do -do 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 -do. And connector. Let me let me move a little bit down. DB9 connector and the uh, operation amplifier located together very close on the PCD. So I think it's a good idea. I will try. It's not mean you must do this. This is my project and uh, don't do like me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Okay, let's see what we can do. I would like to verify everything on a layout. So, that's the DB9. Uh, cheap inverter. Q1052, this one, but this one supplied with 3.3 .3 volts. And the uh, most important step, this is a cheap 1036, which is located here. Next one component, what we need, it's a resistor 1161, is here. And that spot must provide to us plus 5 volts. Let's check on a real PCB, do some soldering, and... Um, this is a real PCB. So, let's take a little bit closer. We need three lines. First one, ground line. Uh, second one, RX line and final step the 5 volts let's solder it Finally, finally everything is assembled. So let's power up 
the transceiver and uh, see how this baby is working. First of all, I want to say a couple of words. Never, never cross the fingers before power up something expensive and complex. If you do any modification, any repairing, or, 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 doesn't matter. Always pay attention, check all potentially uh, critical circuits. Double check, triple check your job, soldering, connection. Everything, everything, everything we can cause, cause create some issue, burn some components, or, or burn the processor. It's a, your simple modification can kill your very expensive gears. All right. Um, already the power line is connected. Let's see. Mm, here is everything looks good. Uh, where is my magic switch for GPS? Voila. Uh -huh. Um, a good practice. It's a check the physical line or physical signal in the line. Uh, I made the connection to the pin number two in the DB nine. So it means we can pick up the signal with a stethoscope and see the shape of the signal. Maybe we will find some spurs, distortions, uh, noise, everything. So let's do this. This is my probe. Mm. Um. Pin number five, this one. Pin number five, uh, the ground. Oh, let me do this again. Good. Pin number two, the signal from the GPS. Okay. Oh, uh, let me. Looks good. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's switch the screen and see what's going on with the physical line. Uh, let me change something. For first trigger to normal and time base a little bit less. Okay, good. Ah, what I can to say, uh, perfect, perfect square signal, just a little bit. We have very tiny spikes, which is very, very okay, and very tiny noise. So, um, perfect, perfect, everything is perfect. Okay, let's close it, and the uh, next one. My GPS receiver configure it to some speed. To check the speed, let's go, no, not this, mm, to GPS settings. Um, let's spin and uh, we looking for, oh, GPS. In my radio, uh, in the menu 28, I put GPS 1. And in menu 29, I put 960 BPS. Default settings, it's a 4600 or 800. I didn't see. But my speed is 9600 it's you need to put correct numbers it's dependent which is speed programmed in your gps receiver okay enter that's all and uh, in the next let's wait a little bit when the gps will find the 
necessary quantity of the satellites and uh, we'll calculate the position and in that moment I think here in the right top angle or corner of the screen uh, we'll highlight the uh, sign with small GPS green sign ladies and gentlemen moment of happiness is here <laughs> that's the what I waiting this small guy <laughs> <laughs> this mean GPS is uh, working well thank you for your time I hope this crazy project was interesting for you and uh, you found some interesting information um, see you next time with another projects <laughs>